For decades, nicotinic acid has served as an effective lipid-modifying agent, proven to reduce the incidence of cardiovascular events and to promote regression of atherosclerosis. Nicotinic acid lowers circulating levels of LDL cholesterol and triglycerides, and it is an effective agent for raising HDL cholesterol. In the skin, however, nicotinic acid often causes flushing. This uncomfortable side effect has historically limited the use of and adherence to nicotinic acid therapy in clinical practice. The flushing response begins within the epidermis, when nicotinic acid binds to a specific receptor on the surface of dendritic cells called Langerhans cells. In response, the cells release arachidonic acid from their membranes. This undergoes a multi-step metabolic conversion to prostaglandin D2, or PGD2, which the cells then release into the surrounding tissue. PGD2 is then believed to diffuse from the epidermis into the dermis, where it binds to the PGD2 receptor, subtype 1, or DP1. In response, dermal vessels dilate, causing the flushing reaction within the skin. Nicotinic acid is believed to modify lipid levels through interactions within the liver and peripheral tissues. The resulting lipid effects include significant increases in HDL cholesterol levels, as well as significant reductions in levels of LDL cholesterol and triglycerides. This profile can complement the lipid profile of statins and other agents whose primary efficacy is lowering of LDL cholesterol.